This video will show us how to search Academic Search Premier via the company EBSCO. Academic Search Premier is a multidisciplinary database, so no matter what subject area you're doing, you will be able to find some journal articles on your topic area within this database. You can find links to Academic Search Premier on the library catalogue or on your subject libguides. If you're simply searching for one keyword, then the basic search box is fine, but I would generally recommend going to the advanced search screen this will enable you to build up a much more effective search strategy. The first thing you need to do when searching is to pull out your key concepts or key terms. So don't just put in the whole title of your essay, for example. Think what are the key aspects that I need to search for for this topic area. So if, for example, if we're examining the use of Facebook by teenagers, I essentially need to be searching for the keywords Facebook and teenagers. I can start typing in my key terms here. So we have Facebook and we can type in teenager. If I click on search, I will now get a set of results coming back. So I've got 390. All of these have got the word Facebook in and somewhere in there will have the word teenagers. This has enabled us to find quite a lot of articles, but there could potentially be a lot more research on this topic area if we just tweak our search strategy a little bit. So for example, the databases will look for exactly what you type in. So it's looked for the exact word teenager where it appears in these articles. The first thing we can do is use truncation and this will look for different word endings. So I'm interested in teenager, teenagers, but also teen and teens. So if I put the little asterisk symbol at the stem of the word where anything after those letters will be relevant, that will automatically look for all of those different word endings for me. So we have 390. If I click search now, we've got 650. So you can see it makes a huge difference looking for different word endings. Another thing you'll need to do is think of other ways of describing the same subject area. So we're interested in teenagers, but they can also be referred to as adolescent or adolescents. So I can put my little star after the N. They might be referred to as youth. They might be referred to as young adult or young adults. Now in this case we want these two words to appear together as a phrase. We want the word young appearing next to adult. If I leave it as it is it will find articles with the word young in and the word adult but not necessarily together so it might look for young children and adults. So to treat this as a phrase we simply put double quotation marks around and that will help focus and narrow that search. We're interested in Facebook, but it's always worth thinking of broader and narrower terms as well. So I might find lots of useful articles that generally talk about social media that mention Facebook. So I could look for social media as a phrase as well. So an effective search strategy will enable you to build up lots of alternative terms. So you simply type in the word or in between your alternative keywords and keep and down the left hand side to combine your different concepts. So if I run the search now, so we had it up to 650, you can see we've now got 3,549. So it's made a huge difference tweaking our search terms. At this point, we might want to narrow it down a little bit or refine our search further. So for example, we might want to do it by date range. I might need be interested in the last 10 years, for example. So I can slide the ruler across. That gets my results down a little bit more. I might also just be interested in quality journal articles. These are referred to as peer reviewed. So these articles have been reviewed by subject specialists before they get published in that journal. So these are higher quality papers. I might also want to limit it by language. And there's lots of filters along the left hand side. I might only be interested in English language only. So these are techniques for narrowing your search down. Other ways of doing that is to type in more keywords. So we could add another term here to help refine our results further. Otherwise, it's a case of starting to look through results to see if there's anything that looks useful. So as you scroll through, you'll get the title of them and underneath you'll see there's a link either directly to the full text. When you see these, you can click directly on the PDF button and it will open up the article immediately within the screen. If I go back to my result list, alternatively, we will need to use the find at Hull button. This doesn't guarantee that we can get the full text at Hull. It checks our subscriptions to see if we have access to it. If we do, it will tell you the full text is available and give you a link. If you click on the link and you're on campus, you should go directly through to the full text of the article. We can then click on the option to download the PDF. 
Off campus, you would need to sign in or log in via our institution. This is called Shibboleth or Authenticating and it enables you to access our resources off campus. If I go back to my result list, if I want any more information on any of these titles, I can click on the title. It will give me subject terms. This is good for identifying alternative keywords. It will give me an abstract or a summary of the article. From the right hand side here, I've got options to show me how to cite it in different styles and I can also add them to folders so I can save my results. If you do use the folder option, it will put them into a temporary folder. These will be lost once you sign out of Academic Search Premier. So I would recommend if you go to the sign in button, you can actually create your own account. That means when you save them into a folder, they will be saved permanently.